Well, are you looking for something to serve your guests while they wait for the big Thanksgiving meal? How about a cheese board that looks as good as it tastes? I learned how to assemble the perfect cheese board at Nora Murphy's Country House in Newtown. Take a look. Happy holidays, everybody. I'm at the home of Nora Murphy, noramurphycountryhouse.com. Nice to see you, Nora. Good to see you. And we have a special guest today. Yes, my sister Judy from Charleston. It's so nice Hi. to see you, Judy. Nice Thanks for coming up. And we're actually combining south with north to make a beautiful cheese board. It's wonderful. It's going to be a work of art that anybody can do. Everything came from the grocery store, other than what Judy brought up from Charleston and I brought from Georgia. Okay, terrific. So how would we begin? Start with the wood board. Now, this is a really big one, but we're going to have a lot of people coming. Okay. So any size wood board or cutting board. Nora covers the board with parchment paper. Parchment is perfect. It's kind of like this wonderful blank canvas to create a pot. Okay. And it's food safe and it just looks really natural and simple. Flip the paper over so it doesn't curl up and get ready for your grapes. So now we're going to hold this down and Scott, since you're close to the fruit, I love to build a board, literally build it. So we're going to start with grapes. Okay. We have several different variety of grapes here. Yes. Uh, we've got like this deep red, pink, and green. They're all organic. And if you want to just take out large clumps. Large clumps. Place them in the middle of the board towards the back so they flow out. And again, everything in a cheese board um, is about color and texture and different flavors. And particularly for Thanksgiving, this is perfect because as people are waiting for the turkey, it's just a nice light nibble. The pears are next, both regular sized and these smaller seckle pears. Jude, if you want to grab the little seckle pears and just dot them throughout. So Judy, what were the holidays like growing up with a sister like Nora? Oh, well, always uh, we had beautiful food. <laughs> beautiful food. <laughs> and beautiful tableware. Oh my darling, this next fruit gets added. It's very interesting. Anytime we do a cheese board, the grapes and the clementines always oh, go. Always the ones who first to go. And then along comes the papaya. I love to add something exotic like papaya to the board as well. It just looks like something that would have been found in an old Dutch oil painting. It's stunning. Isn't it beautiful? You don't have to eat it. It just looks good. So I'm going to just put it up like that and then... We're just going to keep these spread out. Now comes the cheese. The cheese, which you have really quite the beautiful selection. Cheese lovers will admire the choices. Cheddars, a double Gloucester with blue Stilton, a Mimomet, a Camembert. And then last but not least, we have a wonderful goat cheese. And where would you like that? Let's put him back here and we can make room for him again. Don't be afraid to move your parts around okay. as you're building this. Beautiful. Smaller fruits are then spread throughout the board. We have blackberries, raspberries, and gooseberries. Have you ever had a gooseberry? I have never heard it. I don't even think I've ever heard of a gooseberry. Give that a try. Okay. They're really pretty. They look like little um, yellow tomatoes. That's got a very tart yet sweet flavor. You'll notice these fruits give the cheese board even more color. So now we're going to start bringing in and introducing our condiments. Yes, and this, again, it's a different texture. It's a different uh, sweetness. Um, it's just a wonderful thing that complements cheeses so beautifully. This is really special. This is a fairy with Thicket Farm apple butter from Georgia. And the next is a homemade pumpkin butter. Who doesn't love a pumpkin butter? Yeah, especially just the season, right, right. Oh, so, so I'm going to give it to your side there. Okay. And then there's one of my favorites, this fig spread. Yum. I'm with you. Fig, cheese, cracker. Beautiful. And honey, if we can put it down here somewhere. Yep. At this point, Nora adds some honey to the board. This is um, cotton honey. Cotton honey. So this also has this wonderful... We're going to drizzle it all over the camembert. It's that sweet and savory. That's really wonderful. And for the bacon lovers, how about this? Okay, this is a bacon jam. I've never heard of a oh, bacon jam. Oh, it's crazy. Jam. You have to try it. Thanks, Jude. As you don't eat very much of it. Down south, pretty much everything comes with bacon. Everything comes with bacon. Okay, so which we is like the south. which is a good thing. <laughs>
I love that. Okay, fantastic. Well, we certainly need something to spread that bacon jam on, right? Bring on the crackers. Wonderful crackers Nora got at a local market, Cara Luzzi's. Now, Jude brought some very special things, too. If you want to start with this one first. So these are, I brought, brought these all from Charleston, but these are just some little cheese zingers. And they're Charleston's own. Charleston's own. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love them. We've got cheese zingers, lemon snaps. And last, and but, not last least. but not least, these are very um, much southern, uh, a southern specialty, the Bene wafers. They're sweet and savory, but they're sesame-based. Okay. And Bene is an African word that means sesame. Oh, cool. And the lore behind it is that you have good luck when you eat these. That's oh, right. we need these. Good, good yeah. luck. Right. Come on, we need all, all right, need here good we go. luck. And there you have it. Completion. One of the most beautiful cheese boards that I think I've ever seen in my life. And again, Thank you. Nora, if we don't have these particular items, this particular cheese or that particular fruit, use what is available. Yes, and also go with what you like. Keep it colorful, keep it textural, and I would say if you were to invest in one thing, it would be grapes. The grapes. Beautiful. And they really add the structure to this whole thing. Well, Jude, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so Happy much. Happy holidays to you. Happy Nora, where can we find the recipes? NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. See ya. Oh, so beautiful. That is so beautiful, and we really could all do that. So Absolutely. the great thing, we always keep these videos for you on our website and even on our YouTube channel. You can watch them again. For more inspirational holiday ideas and recipes, head to NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com and find her all-new recipe box with Nora's favorite recipes for the holidays and each day in between. Yeah.